Alright, what's up everyone, Ari Skin God of Buff Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more killing a Flora 2. Well then boys, the HRG Blast Brawlers actually received a buff. Now, are these weapons gonna be worth it? Well, let's go and find out. Okay, so what has actually changed on the HRG Blast Brawlers? Well, pretty much they increased the stumble power by 400%. The speed of the primary attack was increased by 50% and the speed of blocking transition increased by 50%. Okay, I didn't actually play this weapon much when it was, well, yeah, bad, because I totally forgot it freaking existed because I'm in the support. Yeah, he has a fair amount of weapons. And not entirely sure why would you pick, well, yeah, the Blast Brawlers even when they're buffed. But, I mean, for those of you who actually play with these things, well, you're probably gonna be a little bit happier now because they're gonna be a little Safety's bit more off. powerful. I think. Wait, shooting... Uh, yo, it's actually shooting a little bit fast. Oh, yes, it's bad. Oh, I totally forgot what, what these weapons were all about. Oh, they're not even in the primary slot. Okay, yeah, first impressions already. Will I feel awkward using these because they're not in the primary slot and they are. Will I yeah, just basically awkward? Okay, if I just extend here, I should be fine. Freaking Krampus lair. Dude, I don't care what anyone says, Christmas-themed maps are the best. Honestly, the best thing in this game. I think this was like the last good update that Tripwire, you know, came up with. You know, freaking Krampus lair, they added the abomination, they had a whole Christmas theme going. You know, Christmas Eds, stuff like that. Dude, what the fuck is this? Okay, apparently just don't hit him. Okay, I need to reload, and my reload is literally punching the air. Yeah, I don't actually know why these weapons, or should I say this weapon, why does it exist? Not sure. I mean, I guess they thought it was gonna be by no satisfying, shooting gloves or something. But for me personally, yeah, I'm not sure. I never actually liked these weapons even when they came out. I was just like, man, I mean, you can parry with them, stuff like that, you can... Punch some Zeds with a support. But you do get the Frostfang on the support, you can pretty much parry with that, you know, slice with that. And you can shoot with that and freeze with that, so you know, these things... I guess they're just like a budget version of... Well, yeah, the Frostfang. Now, I guess I just have to get, like, used to them, you know, how they shoot and stuff like that, but... I mean, do I care enough at this point for killing Floor to, you know... Yeah, probably not. But hey, if you guys play with this weapon in the beta 1... Yeah, do let me know what you think of it. I can't stalk it, I'm just gonna completely ignore I just hit my primary freaking key again and it wasn't there. E -b boy But yeah, the reload, the animation for the reload, it's just so bad. I mean, it still works, you know, as a weapon. You can shoot stuff, kill stuff, it's pretty much just like a shotgun with two shots at once. So, yeah. Personally, I'm still not a fan, despite it shooting, you know, kind of fa Okay, the sensitive fam. I mean, this game is pretty much unplayable for me. I mean, fair enough, I don't even play it. I just play it when I record. But yeah, it's pretty much unplayable with, you know, the sensitivity issues they came up with in this update. So, yeah. Yeah, boy. But yeah, honestly, if you're, like, accustomed to, I know, playing the Berserker, you know, a lot of melee weapons. Yeah, this weapon's gonna feel right at home. A hey boy. Hey, does that not kill like two dudes? Nice. Oh, we got a siren. Destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Okay, this thing in slow motion is not that bad. So yeah, definitely the highlight of this weapon is that you can block and parry with it. The shooting, yeah, it's alright. I mean, if you get used to this, like, double shot for one click. But, you know, other than that, yeah, I would much rather pick my... Boomstick, M4, Frostfang, AA12, Doomstick, Dragon's Breath, and if the medic sucks on multiplayer, yes, yeah, sometimes even this. I never actually went into a situation where these things were, you know, absolutely needed. So yeah, rest in pieces, HRG reskin. It's still functionally good, it's just that... It, it's just not a weapon for me. But, I mean, since I have to play it for the video's sake... Well, here we go, what was that either? I mean, there's like something behind that. Oh, yeah, that was Nidor. Freaking Trapper. Man came to the wrong freaking neighborhood. Yeah, boy. I don't know exactly why they didn't put, you know, Christmas... Wait, what the... I got stuck on nothing. But yeah, as I was saying, not sure exactly why they didn't put, you know, Christmas Zeds as standard on this map. And they put, like, Summer Zeds as standard on the rig map, which makes no sense for Summer. So, yeah. Wait, am I just, like, missing shots? What am I doing? I mean, he's dead. 
was that fun? I mean, it was better than how it was previously, I think. So yeah, at the end of the day, I just like base the weapons on how fun they are to use and how much damage they do. And you know, this thing, I mean, for the parries, it's alright sometimes. But you don't really need- oh my god, it reloads. Yeah, I'm just like not having fun with this weapon. What can I say? It's just like an awkward... Well, yeah, thing. I'm actually not a fan of the static strikers as well on the berserker. They just feel clunky to use. I mean, there's like a exploit or something with them where you can do like giga freaking damage or something. I don't even know. But at the end of the day, yeah, I just this is just not a weapon that speaks to me. I mean, the new stuff they added, you know, the dragon's blaze, the G36, and you know the other HRG, the locust. Yeah, that's a fun weapon because it does like a lot of damage and it's you know satisfying to use. Where is this thing? I mean, just what the fuck? It's just like the type of weapon that it's just there, if you know what I mean. Okay, Skrook, what do you have? Okay, he didn't stumble. Okay, that time he stumbled. So yeah, stumble power, I guess, is noticeable a little bit, but still meh. Okay, can I boost this weapon in any way? Okay, I can increase its magazine capacity by 75, and I can also increase its stumble power, but I just have to have this 20% more ammo, fair enough on solo, not really, but okay, let's try the high capacity magazines. Hey, yo, that reloads freaking slow, what's the sensitivity, man? Okay, so that shit, get some of that, should I get like a backup weapon just in case? Okay, let's just get a dragon's breath for like reference here, because this thing, it, it's just freaking powerful. Whereas, you know, these things, I mean, they're just meh. Well then, skip the trader and let's see what we can a possibly do. But yeah, I mean, Christmas maps, they're just like the best in zombie killing games, I feel. I could be biased towards Christmas maps, but I mean, what can I say? I just love the team. I mean, just like lights, snow, stuff like that. Epic. Okay, long range. This thing sucks, because it has like a bunch of spread. Okay, the biggest question is gonna be, can I, will you yeah, whoop some flesh bones when they come? Probably not. I am probably gonna get, like, overwhelmed and absolutely destroyed. But I get, oh god, painfully slow reload. Actually a pain. I mean, at least he reloads all seven at once, so that's kinda cool. Okay, quick little cheeky heal. Just throw down some ground fire, just in case. Yeah, I'm not sure why you wouldn't have the dragons, but I mean, that thing's you know, kind of good. And you know, a lot of people have been saying, oh, but put Funder Dragon's Breath is pretty much better than the Dragon's Blaze. So it's a core punt. Yes, of course. Okay, parry him or at least block him or something. Yeah, still awkward because I can't like aim properly because of the stupid ass sensitivity issues they have. But science doing something, I guess. Oh, yo, I'm actually gonna die up here. Hole, save me now. Ow. Okay, flesh bound, you need to roll up and go. That's Skrooky Skrook. Demolished. And there's like a bunch of things right behind. Let's quickly reload while I can. But yeah, Killing Floor 2, I said this multiple times. I don't really find it fun anymore. It's just like a game that I just like use to record. And that's pretty much it. Oh, Skrooky Skrook. What's up, my dude? So yeah, I only play this game when I record, and that's pretty much like 10 minutes per video. Because I just don't find it, you know, enjoyable anymore. They just like made so many bad decisions. I mean, the updates are pretty much just like copy-paste stuff that no one cares about. I mean, some people care about it, but I don't know how. So yeah, I'm just like hoping they're gonna be announcing a Killing Floor 3, otherwise... I mean, rest in pieces, at least we got freaking Zed first, right? Well then, down the hole we go. Okay, now we're gonna be fighting the boss with my static fucking... I mean... Yeah, the, the risk, and I totally forgot what its name was. Blast Brawlers, that's it. Okay, can I burn the monster? It's gonna be falling down. It's already down. The fuck? Okay, it's stumbling the boss. Well, that's something, I guess. Okay, it's doing, like, decent damage to the Patriarch. Not too bad. Thanks, man. No, oh, he's trying to do a rocket on me. What the fuck? <laughs> Bruh. It's not how this works, I don't think. How are you not going into your William face? Oh, hey, yo. I mean, I'm just like so sorry for complaining all the time, but I mean, well, what else is there, man? I mean, this is just absolutely bad. I mean, how the hell do you mess up sensitivity? Like, honestly, what the fuck are you doing? Bro, I need to kill like the little things. Okay, slow motion. Yeah, slow motion, not that bad. Oh, he actually slapped me through the rocket things, man. I don't like that. Yeah, boy. Okay, don't slow me down. 
freaking trash. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about Wolia bosses being just like this freaking easy. I mean, fair enough on multiplayer, at least he Wolia goes for different people, so you can't like always do that to him. How'd you do that? I mean, to be fair, if I was like a faster perk, yeah, he would be pretty much there forever. Okay, I guess we're going back to my rock. Freaking bloats and dry tears and all the other shit. Not good. But yeah, the support, it's not like a boss perk, let's be real here, because you don't really do all that much damage and your survival ability is pretty bad. So yeah, for bosses, yeah, there's only like a couple of perks I would pick, and those are gonna be the Medic, Berserker, Gunslinger, Sharpshooter, and those are pretty much the perks I would always pick for any boss. And the perks I would absolutely avoid, yeah, they're gonna be... Well, yeah, the support, they're gonna be the commando. Who can I kill him? What am I dumb? Where the hell did he just go? But yeah, as I was saying, I would completely avoid the commando for bosses. I would completely avoid, you know, the support for bosses, SWAT for bosses. Well, yeah, all the perks that basically do no damage. <laughs> what the fuck, fam? But yeah, with the Blast Brawlers, yeah, I don't really feel any, you know, more power than usual. But yeah, they're alright, I guess. Nothing too great. They're just pure. I mean, the best thing you can do with these things is, you know, parry stuff, and that's pretty much it. But I mean, for damage, I mean, it's not that bad for damage, but it's just an overall awkward weapon to use. I mean, at least for me, you guys are probably gonna be thinking of different stuff. So yeah, do let me know what you guys think about the buffed HRG Blast Brawlers in the comments. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.